While Apple ended its free iTunes radio service, you probably missed the jackets that absorb heat from the sun, lab-grown crystals that could revolutionize solar energy, and moving 3D printing into the fourth dimension, Harvard style. Welcome to In Case You Missed It, where I've been lusting after a confectionery 3D printer for like three years now. Chocolate? Go figure, I am already outdated because 4D printing is the new hotness. Old and busted, new hotness. Scientists at Harvard have figured out how to print microscopic, shape-shifting creations out of hydrogel. The material mimics the cellulose fibers found in wood and plants and responds to its environment, basically evolving when it's placed in water or exposed to higher temperatures. And that's the 4D part of the equation. The researchers are able to print something simple, which can then morph into more complex things later. So imagine a tiny 4D printed medical implant that could be in inserted through the tiniest of incisions, then unfurls once it lands in its final resting place. Many of you are probably into the idea of solar panels, but might still be hung up on cost. Big news, solar nerds! Scientists just figured out how to better use a new material to make the microscopic semiconductors that make up solar panels. These videos are of perovskite, which is a crystal substance growing uniformly in a lab. Scientists already knew it worked great, but hadn't found a way to grow it like this before. So far, the material can convert around 20% of the light hitting it into energy and it's cheap and now easier to produce. Next challenge, stop frying our feathered friends midair. Workers on site call them streamers when the birds ignite in midair. If you want to think smaller than a solar powered house, maybe start with one of these jackets. Up on Indiegogo now, the Thermal Tech jacket has a steel fiber core that collects the heat of the sun and the company says can get up to 18 degrees in two minutes and allegedly offloads extra heat once it matches your body temp. Sadly, this soonest they'll ship is August. And now TLDR, where we do the reading for you because you were probably focused on whether Trump would show for the debate or not and couldn't read a single thing more. Google donated $5.3 million in Chromebooks for refugees. Sony created a new company to run everything PlayStation. DeLoreans are coming back. Circuit City is attempting to come back. And Uber chopped its fare rate in New York City by 15%. New Yorkers are finally back to affording their $20 cocktails of shame for never saving enough for retirement. This episode was brought to you by Go90.